And health officials who are monitoring COVID-19 are now keeping an eye on wastewater. As Mike mentioned earlier, Governor Larry Hogan announced the state will now use wastewater testing to help track where the virus is coming from. WJZ is live at 11. Kelsey Kushner with how the state says this right here could prevent a major outbreak in Maryland. Kelsey. Rick, health officials say that they can actually test the wastewater for COVID-19, and they say they plan on doing just that across the state of Maryland, hoping an early detection will save lives. Below the streets of Maryland flows a new way of detecting COVID-19. Wastewater. It tells us if there's a problem, and then we can get people uh, tested and and uh, uh, taken care of. Ben Grumbles with the Maryland Department of the Environment says they've been testing the wastewater for several months in five parts of the state. He says wastewater can tell the story of how healthy or unhealthy a person is by identifying pathogens and viruses, even if they're asymptomatic. He says every sample of wastewater collected can better predict an uptick in coronavirus cases. We have this tool called the sewer sentinel and it's going to give us advance notice of when uh, there's an outbreak that could occur in buildings uh, particularly when you have uh, groups of people living together Thursday the governor announced 1 million dollars in funding to begin phase 2 of wastewater testing scientists will focus on testing wastewater samples from vulnerable Maryland communities including correctional facilities nursing homes and low income housing areas that testing then allows us to potentially predict or um, then go back and do more specific testing of the people within the facility. Wastewater testing is being done in several states across the country and even in the UK. Grumble says every flush <laughs> is giving scientists a heads up for what's to come. This is going to be an important way to help save lives and fight the surge. Now that second phase of testing is set to start within a month. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Krishner for WJZ.